Okay, so I want to show you how to use Ed Puzzle, which I think is a really good tool to get more out of videos. So when you go to edpuzzle.com, you come to a page that looks like this. And so if this is your first time, you go Teacher Start Now. I've already done that, so I'm going to go up to go log in. I am a teacher, and I'm going to use my Google account. So when you get logged in, you'll come to a page that looks like this. Okay, and so let's just kind of wrap our heads around what we're looking at. Up here in the top is where we'll start. Um, this is where you can search for videos through many different avenues. Okay, um, Search here or paste the URL if you already have a video from somewhere. Um, but these are the main video uh, databases, so you'll be able to find lots from there. Okay, so we go to My Content. This is where the stuff you create will pop up. So right now I have a video here and an assignment here, and we'll get to that later. And then the other option up here is My Classes. And so in My Classes, you will be able to see your classes. I have a demo class set up. And any assignments that you have will pop up here. At this point, I have zero assignments assigned. That's why there's nothing here. Okay, so we will start. Actually, let's take a quick look at over here, this one, members. It says two. That means I have two students in my class, Johnny and Olivia. Okay, um, if we want to get more students into the class, like when you're getting, getting started here with your real students, um, this button pops up in many locations. Here's one, invite more students. And when you click that, you have two options. Give the students this link. All right, and you can do that through Google Classroom or just post it. Or have them go to Edpuzzle and then they will enter this code into their account. Okay, either way you'll need this, this account or this code. All right, and then once they do that, and you can do this together so you can help them through it, then again, their name, of course, will pop up on your class list. So we're going to start with my content. So the great thing about Edpuzzle is you can create a video that lets you, or show, show a video that lets you do more than just watch it. And so the kids get more out of it. It's more of a dynamic experience. So let's see how that happens. Create. You have some options here, new video, upload video. You can create a student project, which would be like you, you are assigning them a task of finding a video and making it more dynamic. Or you can create a new folder to organize things. I'm going to create a new video. And I'm going to search YouTube. And I'm going to pick a Veterans Day one. And I'm going to go ahead and use it. Now, when you find your video, you have four options there up at the top. This isn't the steps you go through. These are just your four options, so kind of ignore that line. The first option is to trim it. If you only want a part of it, you can use these red things to take just the part you want. Okay? All right. When you click off of that, let's say to go to an audio track, then that allows you to speak and you hit this button, you can speak and kind of narrate while the video plays. This option is an audio note. So when the video is playing, if you add a video note, I don't know, we'll see that, we'll, we'll watch that process. Subscribe right? to our channel. Look at that history and understand it. So if I want to come from. If I want to put a audio note, I'm going to click here. I'm going to speak into it, and you can see the volume level is going up and down stop and when the video gets to this point it'll pause and the viewer will listen to your audio note here i'm going to speak into it and you can okay. see the volume level there we go now allows today now the other option uh, is, a, is a really good option that is asking questions takes a minute for the voice but the question option is a good one okay again if you want to add a question to this point in the video or let's say you want to do this one, this one, wherever. You click this, and that's going to give you an open-ended question, multiple choice question, or being able to comment for the students just putting a comment down. Like, what do you think about this part? That type of thing. OK, so let's do a question.
Okay, so it's just a very basic question. This is the right answer. This is the wrong answer. Just so make sure you got that. You can add answers if you want. Um, but we're going to save that, and that's going to insert the question into the video. So we can go continue. Or what they call the Great War. And the video well, continues. Our troops had to be honored. One other question. Great. Again, wherever you want a question, just stop it there and hit question, and you're going to get your options back up. Okay? So those are options as far as building a video experience. When you are done, you're going to go finish. And you have some options here. And we'll, we can take a look at this again in another spot. But you will assign it to the class. This one's getting assigned to demo class. You can give it a due date. You can prevent them from skipping ahead. So they have to watch the entire video. Okay, so you can assign it or you can share it with anyone with this link here. All right, now if you give them this link or if you embed it into your website, they can do everything that you set up except you just won't get individual results. But they can still utilize the video experience. Okay, when you assign it, like I'm going to, that's going to give the student an assignment essentially and then you can track to see how they're doing. So now in my my class area, there's a, 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 a assignment that pops up and it is the Veterans Day video. All right, 0% of the class has completed it. Let's take a look at what this means, progress. So in my progress, Johnny and Olivia watched it. Nope, um, they have not watched it yet. To look at the questions, successful students. Okay, so we don't have, really have any data. So let's just go back to students and then let's go back again so we can just see this area. All right, see here's another example of this button popping up to add more students or to add students. Okay, now let's go to a, the student view. So here is now the student view. This is Olivia's account, and we're going to see if there is any assignments. So in Olivia's account, the student in my classes, she has an assignment that she's got to work on. So whenever she's ready, she can start and she will watch this video in its entirety. You can see Looking how at history, I can't skip forward we have because from. here I'm going to speak into it. And you can see the volume level is going up and down. Spawn allows us to prepare. I for can't skip forward future. because that is why I we locked take time it. out to talk to you about history and culture here in America. Today I'm talking about the celebration of Veterans Day. Now the so we'll just wait till we get to the question and then we'll move on. In the military needed to be honored. And this is where Veterans Day came from, taking you back in history. Although we celebrate Veterans Day today, it wasn't always called Veterans Day. Back in those times when it first came about, it came at the end of World War I. So the student answers the question, submit, and continue. Or what they call the Great War. Okay, let's go back to teacher view and let's um, see the progress. So now the progress, you can see the, uh, Olivia still, it says not watched, but you can see it's actually 40%. If we click on her name, we can see how much of the video she's watched, her responses. We can see how she answered the questions. We can give feedback or leave comments and just kind of get a picture of how she's doing with the video. Okay, so let's go back into my content. Now this right here is another thing I want to show you, create student project. So for this one, we give a subject, the goal, the instructions, and then we save the project. So let's take a look at how this works. The subject we'll say is ancient Egypt. The goal is to learn, a, learn about the Nile River. Find a video that explains the Nile River. That should be capitalized. Good enough. So we're going to save that project and we're going to assign it and we're going to give it a due date similar to what we've done before. We're assigning it to our demo class and we're going to send it. So now the student has a project that they have to go find a video and add audio, add questions, things like that. So let's go over here and take a look at the student, student view. They have a project now that's assigned. 
and they're going to start the project. And they get the goal, the instructions, and then we can go ahead and go start. And now they have to search and find a video about the Nile River and they can use the features that we just went through. All right, and same thing for this. Progress shows you if they've submitted it. Obviously, neither one have submitted, but you can see and watch and uh, check out their video project. I strongly encourage you to give Edpuzzle a shot. It's uh, a dynamic tool that allows you to do more with videos, to get more out of them rather than just pushing play and leaving it at that. Push play and create an experience. Take care.